back to this 2008 Prius. Okay, so we've been running for almost five minutes now. And I added some trace dye to the system. I'm going to be going over it. I did a electronic leak detector. Couldn't find anything. This is going to be your typical slow leak Prius that, like the last video I just did on the 2006 Prius. So let's see what we have here. Here's our temperature. This is our discharge temperature of the compressor. So this is the temperature of the refrigerant entering the top of the condenser. Now on a condenser you shouldn't have more than a 50 degree split from refrigerant temperature going into the top of the condenser. It goes through all the channels and then comes out the bottom. Usually on Prius you don't see no more than 30 or 20 or 30 on a cool day. So now I'm going to grab that temperature probe of the inlet. Oh, let's drop my probe. Let my fingers or my probe hit the fan. Let's get a little buzzing. Yeah, there we go. Nothing like safety. Do as I say, don't do as I do. You know how that goes. Okay, so this line right here is the discharge line of your condenser. Let's see if I could get a hold of it somewhere. Okay, this is my easiest spot. So this is the line coming out of the condenser. So, remember before, it was heading above 200 degrees. We're at 84 degrees. So we have well over a 100 degree drop from the inlet of the condenser to the outlet of the condenser. That's a, an, you know, a bad thing. Shouldn't have more than 20, 30 on this Prius. And let's see, can you see? There, you can see my green now. You see the green uh, refrigerant uh, UV leak detector? You don't even need a UV light. So now you get to see the refrigerant flow and what it looks like. So now I'll perform a recovery. We'll fill this back up and we'll take all the temperatures. And after I fill it up, you will see it will not be 200 degrees coming out of the discharge of the compressor. Oh, and the suction line right there, 69, 70 degrees, it's ba basically the warm air coming off of the radiator, coming up, getting sucked down through the crowd and going out the dash through the evaporator. And there's my refrigerant temperature. I'm on the large suction line coming out of the evaporator. That section line is 70 degrees right now because there's not enough refrigerant to cool. Next video, 2008 Prius. We're gonna look at the pressure of the discharge line of the compressor after I charge it back up fully. I'm gonna do a recovery, a vacuum, go out for a break, get something to eat, come back and charge it up.